Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square PQST and this uh, brown shaded triangle TBQ put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got uh, this uh, right uh, triangle TAB as well, such that uh, this segment uh, AT is uh, 6 uh, units. Whereas uh, this segment uh, AP is equal to this segment uh, BP. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue square has been given to us uh, as uh, 117 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, blue square whose uh, area has been given to us as uh, 117. And now let's recall uh, area of a square formula, area equal to S square where S represents the side length uh, of the square. And since the area has been given to us as 117, so therefore I can write uh, S square equal to 117. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore we can see that our side length uh, S uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 117. So therefore the, the side length uh, of this blue square turns out to be square root of uh, 117 uh, across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, TAP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is square root of 117. And one of the leg is uh, 6. Let's assume that this uh, leg is lowercase a. And now we are going to find the value of lowercase a. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, 6 square equal to square root of uh, 117 uh, whole uh, square. Let's simplify. We are going to get uh, a square plus uh, 36 uh, equal to square and square root undo each other. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 117 on the right hand side. And now we are subtracting uh, 36 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, a square turns out to be 81. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our A value turns out to be positive 9 units. So therefore uh, this lowercase a value turns out to be 9 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this segment AP is equal to this segment uh, BP. If this segment is 9, then this BP segment is going to be 9 as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this perpendicular QC on this uh, line uh, AB. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two right triangles, uh, TAP and this other right triangle, PCQ. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha and we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and we know that this angle uh, of the square is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha so therefore this other angle has got to be our angle beta. And furthermore, we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And furthermore, uh, this side length of the blue square TP and this side length uh, PC are equal since uh, they are the part of the square. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, TAP and the other right triangle uh, PCQ, are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. And since these two triangles are congruent, so therefore uh, this segment uh, TA is going to be equal to 
this segment uh, PC. If this segment is uh, 6, uh, then this uh, PC segment is going to be 6 as well. And likewise, uh, this uh, segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, QC. If this segment is 9, then this uh, QC segment is going to be 9 units as well. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, PB segment is uh, 9 and this uh, PC segment uh, is uh, 6. So therefore, uh, this uh, tiny remaining segment uh, BC is going to be 3 units. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, big rectangle uh, ACQD as you can see over here such that uh, this uh, side uh, QD is equal to this side uh, AC and we know our this uh, side uh, AC is going to be 6 uh, plus 9 that is going to make uh, 15 units so therefore uh, this uh, DQ side is going to be 15 units uh, as well and likewise uh, this uh, side length uh, QC is going to be equal to this side length uh, AD. If this side length is uh, 9, then this uh, AD side length uh, is going to be 9 as well. And we know that this uh, side length uh, AT is uh, 6. So therefore, this remaining uh, segment uh, TD is going to be 9 minus 6 is going to give us uh, 3 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, brown shaded uh, triangle uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, trapezoid uh, ABQD minus the area of this uh, whole uh, right triangle uh, TAB and minus uh, this another right triangle area TDQ as well as you can see in this uh, equation and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABQD the area of this uh, right triangle uh, TAB and finally the area of this other right triangle uh, TDQ and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABQD and now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And here in this uh, trapezoid, uh, this uh, side uh, DQ is parallel to this uh, side uh, AB. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid uh, formula. Area equals to height H times base A plus base B all over 2 and here in our case uh, the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid is uh, 9 and this uh, base uh, of this trapezoid is uh, 15 and finally this uh, another base of this uh, trapezoid is going to be 9 uh, plus 9 is going to make uh, 18 units so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this trapezoid uh, ABQD so that is going to be 9 divided by 2 times our bases are 15 plus 18 so let's go ahead and simplify that thing that is going to give us 9 divided by 2 and this whole thing is going to be 33 and if we simplify everything that is going to give us 148.5 so therefore the area of the trapezoid uh, turns out to be 148.5 and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, TAB and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base of this triangle uh, TAB is uh, 18 and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 6 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, TAB is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, base uh, is uh, 18 uh, times uh, height uh, is uh, 6. And if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 54. 
and finally now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, tdq and once again we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 15 and the height uh, is uh, 3 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, tdq is going to be a half uh, times uh, 15 and then uh, times uh, 3 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 22.5 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded uh, triangle and we already figured out our trapezoid ABQD area as 148.5 our triangle uh, TAB area as 54 and finally the area of triangle uh, TDQ as uh, 22.5 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so this uh, brown triangle area is going to be equal to 148.5 minus uh, 54 minus uh, 22.5 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 72 square units so therefore the area of this uh, brown shaded triangle uh, turns out to be 72 square units thanks for watching it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye